We go first to Cairo, where supporters of ouster President Mohamed Morsi are vowing to reinstate him. The Islamist leader has been out of office for weeks after the Egyptian military removed him from power on July 3rd. The capital has since erupted in demonstrations by Morsi supporters and opponents, with clashes often involving police turning deadly. Sharon Bain has been in Egypt covering the events for VOA, along with producer Arash Arabasadi. I caught up with them recently to talk about their experiences. Let's first look at some of Sharon's reporting. I'm standing here outside the mosque, the Rabah al Dawiya mosque, where all the members of the Muslim Brotherhood have gathered. They are angry that President Morsi has been ousted by the military, and they are saying that they will stay here and perform acts of civil disobedience until their leader has been restored to his post. On the other side of town, the protesters who are against Morsi and our entire square vowing to do the opposite. So Sharon, Arash, you both have been on the ground in Cairo. What can you tell us about what you've been seeing there that might be different from what everyone is seeing in mainstream media coverage? I think one of the things that struck us was the sort of the, like the business of revolution. When we were down in Tahrir Square, we saw people selling hats and t-shirts and flags and banners and there were little carts selling food and drink. There was a real, you know, what we had mentioned before, a real festive atmosphere during most of it with a lot of children, face painting, face painting was a really popular thing. And I think that was the side that a lot of media actually didn't show, that there was a, a whole sort of little community going on at the same time. Clashes between the Brotherhood and the military, as well as those supporting Mr. Morsi's ouster, have left dozens dead and many more injured. Reconciliation is only possible if Mr. Morsi is reinstated as president, says senior Brotherhood member Abdel Rahman El Bar. <laughs> What is acceptable is that legitimacy is restored once again and the legitimately elected president returns and matters proceed once again according to the constitution and Egyptian law. In this case, it is possible to consider reconciliation and in this condition it will be possible to move forward and this is the logical solution to the crisis. Soldiers are still positioned around Cairo's most sensitive buildings. The military would be ready to return them to their barracks when security improves, says analyst and retired general Samah Seth Eliazal. It's their choice. It's a, the choice of Muslim Brotherhood now. If they want to join the new political forces in Egypt, or they want, even as, a, as an opposition group, no problem at all. Or they will stay carrying weapons, carrying clashing cuffs, and killing people. Now, what about the, uh, the violence? Obviously, there have been a number of deaths as a result of clashes. Have you been witness to any of this violence, any of these clashes? And have you yourselves felt any sense of danger? No, I've, I, I don't think we've had any real sense of danger. Tahrir Square got pretty busy um, on Sunday night. It was, it was really, it was packed. I mean, it was, if you could imagine, like somebody just won a big game, a, a big uh, World Cup game or something like that. It was a, it was a very packed atmosphere. Um, no, but I, it, we haven't actually seen the violence. We've seen the follow-up to the violence. We've seen the next day. We've been to, uh, for example, the field hospital in Nasser City where, uh, where they brought their wounded. They, they brought their injured from the night before. But we, we haven't seen anything with our own eyes. And you know, that's, I guess, kind of been frustrating. It's difficult to report on, on things when it's all really hearsay and, and after, after the fact. And so what we have done, actually, is we've, we've kept pretty close to each other and made sure that we don't lose contact with each other because there have been problems with journalists in the squares where they get separated and the women have been attacked. So we've been very careful to stay in touch with each other at all times, sort of um, make sure that the other person's okay, always keep an eye out for where everybody is. Tourist sector workers say the unrest on Egypt's streets and Morsi's Islamist rule almost destroyed the industry. Even upscale restaurant owners are suffering. The Armada, a multiple deck cruise boat on the Nile, is practically empty. I wanted to ask both of you if you get a sense talking to, to these people who are just trying to man their businesses, you know, they're, they're vendors and, and they're out just trying to live their lives. Are you getting a sense of any kind of protest fatigue? Not everybody's protesting. I, I would say that if you are a protester and if, you, uh, if you've been out there for the past week or two, then no, you're probably not fatigued. You're probably. Uh, as energetic, as energized, if not more, than you were a week ago. Mm -hmm. But if you're a merchant on a side street in Egypt, uh, in Cairo, and, and the streets are shut down, and, and the regular flow of foot or car traffic's not coming there, yeah, I, I would say you have some sort of fatigue because your business is suffering. 
Um, but yeah, from the people who are out there, it seems like they're happy as they can be because they're, they're, both sides are doing something that they really believe in. Right, and I, and I would agree with that. There's a very intense ideology that's, that's uh, sort of uh, at, at the bottom of all these protests. But yeah, when we've talked to merchants, they, all they've said is we want law and order, we want peace, you know, we want our business to start back up again. All right, and our thanks to Sharon Bain and Arash Arabasadi in Cairo. Now, before the current turmoil in Egypt, tourism had been picking back up. In the first quarter of 2013, some 3 million tourists visited Egypt, a 15% rise from the same period last year.